Oh my gosh, you guys. I have been trying to film today's video for probably legitimately the last month. I have a ton of products that I want to talk about and show you. Um, a lot of this is i guess this is a mercedes shops but i guess it's also like a pr update video and then just yesterday adjust this a little bit um just yesterday i went to my fedex box where all of my lamor mail goes true to form here comes the recycling truck down the street <laughs> Um, I had a bunch of packages there, but I was gonna throw it all into this video, but I'm just not going to. I need to cover what's in this bag first before I update you on the most recent stuff. Okay, also included in this video is my Sephora VIB order. However, I'm not gonna show you that today. That's going to be one of my live streams this month on Patreon. I'm tr gonna try and squeeze in three for the month of May. I published um, the preliminary dates I'm doing them and the like theme for the live stream. So one of them is gonna be a Sephora uh, VIB show and tell and using the products as a get ready with me. Another one I'm gonna play around with these Aether Beauty palettes, which I'll show you. And then I think the third live stream this month, I'm gonna do a get unready with me skincare gua sha. I did manage to brush my hair for this video. It is not styled, but it's semi clean and brushed. So we're gonna consider that um, a win. <laughs> Okay, let me just get cracking. There's a ton of stuff in here and I, I'm always anxious to do these videos because I like to sequester things until I talk about them on video and then I can start like breaking them in and really start testing stuff. So this is, I might have some preliminary first impressions. Why don't we get started with a Beauty Heroes order that I made, I don't know, probably three weeks ago. I'm still on a huge Persona kick. I actually gifted um, one of the limited edition Discovery bundles to my sister for Mother's Day. I am an evangelist for these products. I absolutely love them. So I picked up uh, actually a Minerals de Mer, which is one of my favorites. I've already tried this one. So I just got another one of those. And then I picked up the two products that were not in either of the bundles that I wanted to try. The Resurrection Bath, which I've already done. This is actually an empty product. And the Revive Coffee Body Polish, which I still need to try. Um, I'm testing everything Persoma and I'm gonna do a whole Persoma video review and tell you my favorites and like go more into depth about how amazing I think these bath products are. So there's those and actually they were having a Persoma, not through Beauty Heroes, um, was having a 20% off for Mother's Day sale. So I bought a few of my favorites at 20% off which came yesterday. Okay, on the theme of bath products, I also wanted to try the Beauty Heroes Bathing Culture Mind and Body Wash. In this household, we are on a never-ending quest for eco-clean green shower products, bath soap wash type products that both Kaveh and I agree on. He tends to really <laughs> dislike everything in this realm of products. So I'm kind of always trying what's new. So I haven't even smelled this yet. Let's see what it's like. It smells nice, it's fresh. We'll have to see like how it sudses and I wanted to pick up a new Fit Glow lip serum. Um, I'm a really big fan of the shade Nudie and I'm still, I actually probably should get rid of my original. It's almost empty or it's like very gnarly and beat up. But for spring, I wanted to try a new color and I went for the shade Go, just like a pale petal pink. Uh, nudie is much more of a fall winter color, I think, and I have actually tried this and I really like it. Um, it's really pretty over a pink lip liner or mixed with other lip products I have. That may, I feel like I had ordered some other stuff, but it's not here. So I'm, I'm blanking. I may have ordered some other stuff in that order, but I had been talking to Jeannie about how curious I was about the Aether Beauty palettes and she really generously sent me both of them to test and play around with and share with you, the Lamour community. So these also came in that box, but they are technically uh, PR, just to let you know. So this was the original palette, the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone palette. Now, if there were ever a grammable millennial type of makeup item, this would be it. This brand I think is really interesting because uh, the woman behind it, I can't think of her name, used to be in product development at Sephora and she basically just, you know, made a huge splash in the conventional mainstream as well as eco-holistic beauty markets. Sephora carries this, this palette, like 
every eco boutique, I think Detox Market, Credo, Beauty Heroes all carry them. Beauty Heroes actually I think was one of the first uh, boutiques to start carrying these and um, they are zero waste everything is recyclable which is why they don't have a mirror and then this is the second palette she came out with the crystal grid gemstone palette yeah rose quartz crystal gemstone and then this is called the crystal grid so I haven't tested them at all I wanted to take a arguably basic Instagram post of these because I feel like they're exceptionally grammable products. Um, and then I am gonna play around with them on a live stream and probably eventually on here as well. Let me just stick with Beauty Heroes for a minute because I wanted to tell you guys about the Beauty Heroes Living Lighter Discovery. Uh, they curated this for Earth Day. If you wanna hear all about the curation, you can head to the Beauty Heroes YouTube channel and Jeannie filmed a little sit down with Capua I forget her last name, from Honua. There is a Honua product in here. And I think that this is really a beautiful discovery and they have since listened to community feedback and they have split up the discovery into a dental care discovery, skin care discovery, and lifestyle discovery. And then I think that you can also order the full Living Lighter discovery without the salt menstrual cups. So let me just quickly show you what's in here uh, it includes this book called give a shit by ashley piper and i think it's about zero waste sustainable living uh, as far as the lifestyle products i was so excited to see this i actually have some bamboo utensils but i love the way this whole thing comes packaged so it's a carrying case with a reusable spoon fork knife and straw with a little straw cleaner it's just super super handy it like packs up you can throw this in your bag or your purse uh to take to work on the go i am planning on picking up extras of these to gift to some of my good friends and i'm going to pick up an extra one for cave to take to work uh, i love this idea it's such an easy easy way to stop using plastic cutlery when you go out to eat love this i love the glass straws too from beauty heroes i use them all the time so that's lifestyle i i'm not sure if the, the salt menstrual cups are considered lifestyle or not but i have been a diva cup user for many many years uh kicking the tampon habit was something that was really important to me for a number of reasons around the time that I started working on rebuilding my system from a women's health perspective. And if you wanna hear about that, I'm not sure if I talked about Diva Cup menstrual cups in my acupuncture video, but I did a whole video on my experience with acupuncture, which started 10 years ago, and how I helped heal my cycles through acupuncture and fertility awareness. So an integral part of that whole process for me was starting to use a menstrual cup. So Diva Cup is the most popular, but there's so many brands. Salt is the one that uh, Beauty Heroes chose to include in this discovery as i said you can get the discovery without the menstrual cups but it comes with the small size and the regular size for different size flow different size bodies things like that dental care discovery they included two of these mabel bamboo toothbrushes and i am a really dedicated sonicare toothbrush user so i'm probably going to save these to have for guests and uh, fully recyclable because of the bamboo so they included two i think a red and a blue and then this is the brand lucky teeth and it's charcoal dental floss and again fully recyclable packaging uh, they made the point in the video genie and kapwa that dental floss comes in plastic um containers usually yeah this is just a more sustainable friendly way again i am a long time dr tongues user and i have a teeth that are very very close together so um i have to be pretty picky about the floss that i use i have tried this and i think it's really lovely i love the packaging and then it also included the new variation of the David's toothpaste, the peppermint and charcoal. So I have been using just the straight David's peppermint toothpaste for probably like three years now, two or three years exclusively. I love it. It's fluoride free, sulfate free. I don't know. It's great. It's like the best natural toothpaste I've ever tried. So I was really excited to see the new variation charcoal in dental care products is supposed to provide a natural whitening effect <laughs> side note i totally back in the day like early on in my green journey would break open those charcoal capsules and like try and brush my teeth with it that was like the old school way people used to do things it turns out it's like way too abrasive to do to your teeth so i'm glad to see that there are good companies formulating um 
you know, safe dental care products that incorporate charcoal. Um, okay, and then there is, what am I missing? Ah, okay, there's one thing downstairs that I'm not gonna go get, but I think the skincare discovery includes three products, the Honua Olina Oil. I tried this when it was part of the Beauty Heroes box last year. I think it was last June's box or maybe even the year before. I've totally lost, lost track of time. So I have used this. I think it's super beautiful, um, especially going into summer. It's a very nutrient rich oil, sun protective type of oil, not like explicitly marketed as such, but uh, Kapwa is Hawaiian and uh, I don't know if she still lives in Hawaii, but formulates from a Hawaiian native medicine perspective. So that's beautiful. And then they also included the Meow Meow Tweet grapefruit baking soda free deodorant stick. And then the thing that I don't have here because I've been using it near my desk downstairs is the Meow Meow Tweet lip balm. These are again in cardboard packaging, so fully recyclable. I had tried Meow Meow Tweet deodorant, I don't know, probably two years ago. And I tried the one in the jar. Uh, it was really popular at the time and it didn't work for me, but this is magic. I really am loving it. It's very effective on me. Your body chemistry really changes when you have a baby. And I find that, um, I don't know, some of that is like immediate postpartum. You're just like extremely smelly. My system seems to have sort of re-regulated a bit. So I'm alternating between this and still la vanilla but honestly i would be totally happy to just use this and not my la vanilla and that's a very bold claim i have also been trying this which i'll get to in a minute it's part of something else and i'm loving the lip balm it's in a sort of an oversized cardboard packaging as well it's really nourishing and moisturizing and i'm a huge fan of these meow meow tweet products i love it's like kind of like using a push pop do you remember those like push pops we used to have when we were kids in the 80s and early 90s yeah, big fan, works for me. I also stocked up on my favorite CV Skin Labs body repair lotion. I was waiting for Credo to start carrying uh, this again. It was out of stock and I ended up just ordering two bottles of it directly from the CV Skin Labs website. They also will run periodic sales, like for Earth Day, Mother's Day, they'll oft often do 15 or 20% off. This is the body lotion that I repurchased time and time again. It is kind of pricey for what it is, but I've never found anything uh, that comes close. I love this brand. I would love to see Beauty Heroes start carrying this brand. So yeah, I ordered two. I already have one that I'm using in my bathroom and we'll keep this as a reserve. Excellent, excellent product. We'll be a lifetime customer. So I want to update you on some of the past detox market detox boxes. The difficult thing, which I also receive uh, as PR and to share and test, the problem with the detox market boxes is that they become available on kind of a weird schedule. I think it's usually like the sixth or seventh of the month as opposed to like the first of the month with beauty heroes. Um, so it's a little just like hard for me to, I don't know, I, just like the time, I need like a media planning calendar so that I can let you know when things are actually still available. But I thought it would be helpful to tell you about this stuff just to let you know that these products you can still get uh, on the detox market site. So I haven't even had a chance to try these. I believe this was, April's box featuring Indie Lee, and it is the Daily Skin Nutrition Nourish and Brighten and the Daily Vitamin Infusion Repair and Rejuvenate. I don't have a ton of experience with Indie Lee. I think they, I think they also included a cleanser. Oh, one other little thing to tell you about from Beauty Heroes too. Um, and then yeah, they also included this sample of the Indie Lee Rosehip Cleanser. This looks like a gel type of second cleanse, at least for me. So this I think is, I guess it's a cream. Apply to freshly cleansed skin morning and evening. Use alone or layer over your favorite face serum for enhanced environmental protection. The packaging is really beautiful. Let's test it quickly. If I can get my pump to work. There we go. Yep, it just looks like a cream. You know who loves products like these is uh, Kaveh. Like the only product he, really will test that I give him are like face creams. It has a very light herbal smell. Uh, it's It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Moon, what is that product called? It's like the latest release from them, Aman, the kind of gel infused moisturizer that they do. This seems like a very similar product. 
And then the daily vitamin infusion. I imagine this is more of like the serum step versus the protective moisturizing step. Yeah, so this looks like ideal for all skin types, especially dry and sensitive. Use a loner layer under your favorite moisturizer. So you would do step one, actually cleanse step one, serum step two, and the little moisturizer would be step three. Let's try this. I actually need a product like this. I just finished my RIP, Old Generation Provise Nutrify Tonic. I don't like the reformulation. So I have been using the Activist has a very similar smell to the moisturizer. I have been using the Activist Signature, I forget what it's called, Signature Hyaluronic, but it has vitamin C in it, which tends to irritate my skin. This product is soothe and brighten the complexion with this ceramid enriched daily fa oh, it's an oil, I guess. It didn't really seem like, it seemed more like a hyaluronic type of product, but it's an oil. Rosehip and avocado oils protect vitamins A and E, help rejuvenate, and vitamin C promotes a more even skin tone. Uh, this also has rosemary leaf extract, sugarcane derived uh, squalane, and that looks like it. So this does have a little bit of vitamin C in it as well. I should show you guys like all the vitamin C products that I have accumulated and struggle to use. Um, but that, yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, the other thing before I tell you about the May detox box is as part of my Beauty Heroes order, uh, they also threw in the Siam C's Psy Clear Skin Serum. This is like the Siam C's spot treatment, I think. I have the Province Apothecary spot treatment. I have Stark et Tent, and I think those are the two that I have. Both I like a lot. Both are very effective on, on, on any pimples that I get. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this was May Detox Market Detox Box featuring Agent Nature. It is featuring a full size of the Holy Oil, which is Agent Nature, Nature's face oil, and a, I'm not sure, this is the full size or the travel. It's a one ounce of the deodorant. Uh, so I have tried both. Now, here are my honest thoughts on these products. I, I can kind of understand why they seem to have such a cult appeal. The deodorant people really, really like. I think it boils down to a chemistry thing. Like this actually smells like body odor on me. It has sort of a funky damp quality and it, it just when i wear it it actually makes me smell like i have a little bit of bo but a lot of people like it i don't know why it's like that on me it in terms of the like constitution and quality of the not not quality in terms of like high or low but in terms of i'm thinking more of like in the chinese medicine sense like wet, dry, damp, hot. It reminds me a lot of the dampness that I have described Demamiel products as having. So if you like Demamiel, I think you would actually really like Agent Nature. They seem really similar to me in terms of how they're formulated. Um, the Holy Oil I actually think is quite beautiful, but it's way too fragrant and scented for me to wear on my face. Um, you can see it's this really beautiful color, but you know what I am actually repurposing this for? is as a perfume oil. It's uh, It smells a lot like Rose Auto. So it reminds me quite a bit of the Ela Glowing Radiance Rose Face Oil. It's very similar to that. Too much for my face, but I've been mixing it on pulse points. Yeah, very sought after products. I think the detox market does a good job of curating these boxes and um, giving people good deals on these very attractive brands. But still plowing through. So I have been doing a little bit of work, I guess you could say, <clears throat> as an affiliate with Evolve H. So they have sent me products in their new packaging. I have been a long time fan of Evolve H products. Cave actually loves the Ultra Shine uh, shampoo and conditioner. We always have them in our shower and they have put their things in new packaging. Uh, the bottles used to be clear, um, so they kind of have just rebranded. They put things in these opaque bottles and the moisture conditioner, I guess, now has a pump. It used to be in the similar packaging as the shampoo. So these are constant repurchases for us, the Ultra Shine uh, shampoo and conditioner. And then I think these are some new styling products from them, the Ultra Repair Reconstructing Mask, so hair mask, which my hair has been, it's actually getting rehabilitated postpartum. Uh, the, the bulk of my postpartum hair loss is now done, although I have like bald spots in, in here. Shouldn't really draw attention to that. But Evolve H has been doing, serving my hair very well throughout pregnancy and postpartum. Um, this is the Total Control Styling Cream. 
and the Ultimate Styling Lotion. Uh, I haven't played around with these too much. The Evolve Age styling products tend to be a little heavier for my hair. I tend to gravitate more towards, for example, the Momi hair products, which are really good for my hair type, which is medium, medium fine textured. Um, if you have thicker, coarser, drier hair, I think Evolve H and Inner Sense are really, really good styling product options uh, for hair by hair type. Okay, speaking of rebrands, we're getting to the end of this video too, by the way. Uh, Blissoma has also undergone a rebrand. I don't even remember if their products had come in boxes prior i think they just sent them as sorry i feel like i look a little overexposed um i think that they used to not send them in boxes but they have these really beautiful uh designed boxes so i had tried uh, pretty much everything from their sensitive skin range last late summer early fall um along with the blissoma phytotonic which in addition to the iuna velo the new release from iuna six in one but really a face sunscreen even though they don't label it as such yet uh blissoma phytotonic spf 30 i think it is is my other favorite um more affordable spf but they have moved everything into different packaging and they sent me a few new things the eye vitalizing nutrient serum oh whoa <laughs> looks like that i was not expecting that first of all i don't think i've ever seen an eye serum that is a tan color like that reminds me of the i think it's called the facial solar repair serum that blissoma does seems very similar to that but this is the eye vitalizing nutrient serum then i think this is a new product for them the phyto brightening serum So this is, again, I think this is a vitamin C product. So I should really do like a vitamin C, at least like Instagram post of all the ones I have right now. It's a very popular product. In addition to CBD infused products, which you will never see in a uh, lot more content because I'm not into it at all. It's a trend I really <laughs> wish would just go away, quite frankly. Okay, this is the Phyto Brightening Serum. Absorbs quickly with no shine. Apply sun protection, moisturizer, or makeup to finish if desired. Use daily for best results. I do love these nice pump dispensers. Okay, this one looks like this. Both this and the eye serum are actually very liquidy. Um, they're not sort of thicker and heavier the way those Indie Lee products were that I showed you. Smells really nice, actually. I'm excited to try this one. This is a type of product I would use in the morning. Um, all the vitamin C products actually t would tend to be things I use in the morning, except the Blue Alchemy vitamin C product that came in Beauty Heroes a few months back. I use that at night primarily um, because I had read that it's beneficial for skin metabolism to use that product overnight, for your skin to metabolize it overnight. Um, but you can use them a or, or PM. Just always be diligent about your sun care because I think vitamin C can make your skin um a little more photosensitive at least on some people if you're pro especially if you're prone to melasma or hyperpigmentation okay then they also sent me another bottle of the rejuvenating herbal gel cleanser and makeup remover in the new packaging this used to be in metal i guess or like a uh, i don't know what the material was it's now in glass it used to be like in almost like an aluminum can type thing I am finishing up a full bottle of this in my shower. I use it as a second cleanse a lot, of, a lot of the days. Like if I'm taking a shower at night, it's easy to just use it as a second cleanse. They label it as a makeup remover. To me, it's not effective at all as a makeup remover. I've tried to use it as such and either rinse off or remove with a cloth. And it's to me, it's not suited for that. It is a very nice, very gentle, mild second cleanser that I think would be really good for most skin types especially i think if you are dry dehydrated sensitive i think this is a really nice second cleanse last thing i was fortunate enough to receive from products from a brand i've been like so curious about since i first heard about it as i already shared i've been a long time acupuncture devotee so when i saw that there was a brand that is formulated from a Chinese medicine perspective. I've been so curious about them. Uh, the first product I ever tried from Five Yina or Five Yina, I'm not sure, were their sheet masks. I am not typically a sheet mask person. I do like some of the Orgade sheet masks, but the Biocellulose Divine sheet masks, I think they're called, are epic. They're very, very good. A Persoma bath 
with one of the five Venus sheet masks on is a recipe for feeling like a brand new human at home. It's really, the results are really powerful. So they sent me their spring collection, the spring Hydrolot. So they formulate seasonally. So I think that they have four categories of products for spring, summer, fall, and winter. The spring collection is called Enlighten and they have a Hydrolot and a beauty oil. Um, actually the Hydrolot is in my bathroom. I've been using it, I really like it. And then they sent me, I actually haven't even gotten a chance to start using the full size of the spring beauty oil, but they sent me a little travel one um, that I've been using and I think is really beautiful. Oh, Boxwalla is featuring the summer collection, which is called Lucent, which just arrived yesterday. So I think I'm gonna continue using the spring products through May and then sometime around June, um, maybe even a couple weeks into June, I'm gonna transition I think to Lucent. I might try Lucent before. Yeah, June, July, August, I would consider to be Lucent months. The Hydrolot, the Enlightened Hydrolot is, it kind of smells like rose. It's very nice, simple, light, fresh. I actually spritzed the Lucent Hydrolot yesterday and it's really, it almost has like a petty grain scent that I prefer a little bit. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy using that. Why can't I get into this? And the face oil was really beautiful. I just alternated it as part of my evening skincare rotation. Packaging is exquisite of these products. Um, this is like one of my new favorite brand discoveries just from concept to execution. This is what the Lucent oil will look like too. So if you are interested in Five Yina, I would highly recommend going to check out Boxwalla because they are featuring the Lucent or Summer version of the Hydrolot and face oil. So if you're interested, I think that those are open for uh, purchase now. I'm not, I'm still trying to figure out how the Boxwalla subscription model works. It's a little different than other beauty subscriptions. So the other uh, Fabina products I have here, I've actually already been using the Bioadaptive Face Cleanser for a while. Um, I started using it a couple of months ago. So their cleanser, the Divine Bioadaptive Cleanser, is actually an all-season product. The Hydrolots and face oils are seasonal, but the face cleanser is multi-season. And this product is amazing. I need to do a favorites video. Oh my God, I have so, it would be like an hour long probably because I have so many favorite products. It's been so long since I've done a favorites video. This would absolutely be in it. This is what I would consider a, a very, very gentle clay mud type cleanser. At least that's what it feels like on. And it leaves a completely like neutral canvas. It's a second cleanse for me for sure. I use it two or three times a week. It's more deep cleansing than something like the Blissoma that I just told you about. This is more like if your skin is sensitive or kind of needs a little more gentle, um, but this is one of the most gentle, it's not even like deep cleansing, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, I'm just gonna have to do like more, like a five unit review or something so I can really delve into the detail of the experience, but I really, really, really like it. And then I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but they do a decolletage treatment that I'm quite excited about. I've been using the Skin Owl Neck Plus on neck and decollete and actually I even put it on the back of my neck. It's a beautiful like cooling gel type of product um, and I use it in the morning and it's just so refreshing and really, really nice. So this will be kind of a, a in rotation product or maybe I'll use that one in the morning and use this one in the evening. Gui Ying, it's called decolletage treatment. And this is I think more of like a cream whereas the skin all one comes in a pump and it's like a sort of a gel type deal. Yeah, this is actually like a balm. Smells a little bit like bubble gum. I don't know why I'm smelling that. Sometimes my nose picks up weird things. Oh, you know, it's, I have so many products on my hands, it's hard to tell what I'm smelling, but it's actually, uh, it's kind of like a rose scent. Um, the texture is extremely silky and buttery. Reminds me of something like the Precious Skin Elixirs balms that I really enjoy. 24 karat balm, which is super, super silky. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a really, really pretty evening neck and decolletage treatment. Can you see why I didn't have time to show you all the stuff that came, that came yesterday too? I just wanna also say I do pretty regular periodic divestments of overflow products in my stash, either things that I've tested a handful of times, 
um, and don't work for me. I give tons of stuff away to family and friends, but above and beyond that, I put together packages or let people on Patreon shop my stash. Um, I have some past live streams showing that. I'll film a video of different packages and I do first come first serve. I send people products either new or very minimally tested uh, for free. I pay for shipping. So that's another way, um, it's another little benefit of being on Patreon and there's no way I can use all the products that I get. Thank you so much to all the brands that sent me stuff and that continue to inspire me with their, their products. So if you have any questions specifically about what I talked about here, please leave me a comment. So as always, it's super therapeutic and grounding for me to talk about products. I miss it when I haven't had the time to do it. Everything I talked about will be listed and linked below uh, for your reference. Thank you so much for being here. Go find me on Patreon, Instagram, Instagram stories, and I'll see you guys really soon.